Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Brick. The Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mishal Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, received the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abd Al bin Rashid Al Zayani, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. In the presence of the Kuwaiti Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Ahmed Nasser Al Sabah, and the Minister of Finance and Minister of State for Economic Affairs and Investment, Abdul Wahab Al Rashid. The ministers conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman. Bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and to the Kuwaiti Crown Prince, where he requested the ministers to convey the greetings of the Emir of Kuwait to and his greetings to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and their wishes for further progress and prosperity to Bahrain. The ministers affirmed the importance of continuing to enhance the bilateral cooperation to achieve the aspired goals. The meeting also included discussions of regional and international developments and topics of mutual concern. The Prime Minister of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Sabah, received the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abd Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, in the presence of the Kuwaiti Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Ahmed Nasr Al Sabah, and the Minister of Finance and Minister of State for Economic Affairs and Investment, Abdul Wahab Al Rashid. The ministers conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the Prime Minister of Kuwait, where he requested the ministers to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness and his wishes for further progress and prosperity to Bahrain. The ministers affirmed the importance of continuing to enhance the bilateral cooperation to achieve the aspired goals. The meeting also included discussions of regional and international developments and topics of mutual concern. The Minister of Tourism, Fatima Sayrafi, received Bahrain Society for Tolerance and Religious Coexistence Chairman Yusuf Bozabun and board members. She highlighted that Bahrain possesses qualitative elements to be an attractive tourism destination. She praised the Society's efforts to promote Bahrain's positive image and its values of tolerance and coexistence, expressing her happiness to meet the Society's board of directors. Chairman Buzawun and board members granted the minister with the honorary membership and presented her with a copy of the book Bahrain, Land of Peace, which was published by the Society in Arabic and English. The Ministry of Interior, in cooperation with the government and the concerned authorities, continue their efforts to take all arrangements and measures to ensure the provision of needs and a safe environment for the success of the Ashura season. This is an implementation of the directives of His Highness or His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister to provide all the needs and requirements, and with the follow-up of the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The services uh, cover mourners and visitors to the mourning area. The police personnel are also involved in awareness campaigns. The General Directorate of Traffic had announced the intensification of traffic presence in all the streets surrounding the locations in which the Ashura commemoration is held through traffic arrangements that contribute to the smooth flow of movement and the safety of participants and all road users. Based on the directives of the Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to determine the security services and health needs of Matam's community centers, Northern Governor Ali Abdul Hussein Al Asfur continued his inspection visits to community centers during the Ashura commemoration. In this regard, Al Asfur Accompanied by Deputy Governor Brigadier Khalid Rabi Hassinan, the chairman of Ashura Committee at the Northern Governorate, Al Sayyid Sharif Abdullah, and other officials visited the North Sihla, Janusan, Jid al Hajj, and the Southern Karana community centers. The governor commended the efforts of community centers' management and subcommittees to ensure the distinguished organization of Ashura rituals, praising their cooperation and coordination with security and service authorities to ensure the success of Ashura commemoration. He also called on community centers management to register in the pilot program, Choose Your Doctor, in coordination with the Supreme Council for Health. 
Chief of the Human Rights Affairs Ambassador Dr. Arwa Hassan Sayyid shared a series of meetings with various civil society institutions in preparation for the Human Rights Universal Periodic Review Report. The meeting discussed the most important recommendations of the UPR and reviewed the progress of the Kingdom in this regard. They also shed light on the National Human Rights Plan and projects related to strengthening the work of civil society institutions and their contributions to supporting and strengthening human rights in the Kingdom. The Industrial Development Directorate at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce revealed that the number of certificates issued to register the Made in Bahrain mark reached 78 until the first half of 2022, as the Ministry issued 473 registration certificates in the industrial registration process. The number of industrial licenses issued reached 31, while the initial approvals for industrial projects reached 45. The statistics showed that 94 customs exemption requests were registered until the first half of this year according to which a Bahraini factories are exempted from paying customs duties on production inputs, a policy that Bahrain maintained to encourage local industries. The Made in Bahrain initiative acknowledges products made in Bahrain and aims at developing domestic exports to ensure that local products and services are promoted and recognized in international markets. It is a mark granted to national factories licensed by MOICT, where items produced are made of 35% or more of domestic content. This mark is given to catalyze Bahraini industry through supporting local production and bringing consumers closer to the national product. The National Space Science Agency has announced the opening of registration for all programs, scientists, fans of space sciences and students to participate in the fifth edition of the hackathon of the Space Application Challenge. This specialized space technical event is scheduled to be held on the first and second day of October and the Space Science Authority stated that the hackathon is open to all ages. It attracts participants from all over the world to create teams of creators using available space data from NASA. NSSA added that the idea of the hackathon depends on motivating participants to devise new ways and ideas through which space data can be presented in the form of applications, games, or innovative technical solutions. This event is part of a package of awareness activities implemented by the authority in partnership with local institutions to promote a culture of innovation and spread creativity among members of society. These international competitions are an opportunity for students to represent the Kingdom of Bahrain globally and gain practical experience in this field which contributes to promoting innovation to keep pace with the development witnessed by the kingdom and achieve scientific and technical progress in line with the kingdom of bahrain's economic vision 2030 nssa's mission is to devise comprehensive programs to embrace development activities related to space science researchers and related studies